Hello and welcome to Platform Studio. Today we will be learning how to make realistic water in V-Ray 3ds Max. By the way, Happy New Year to you all and thank you so much for 50,000 subscribers. This year I promise to make more videos although only 8% of my viewers are subscribed to my channel. So my request is if you find my videos helpful, please do subscribe, it encourages me to make more videos. So today we will be learning to make realistic water, especially pool water in V-Ray 3ds Max. It's very simple, so let's start. Here I have a 3D model of a pool. For water I have a just single plane. Always remember to make a singular plane for realistic water on top of the pool or water body. Do not create a volume. Okay, do not create a volume, just a single plane. And here's my plane. Now let's hide it. So now this one is another important thing here, the pool texture. For a realistic pool water, you need a realistic pool tile texture. Make sure it is in proper scale. I will provide this pool texture in my description below. So you need a good quality pool texture and a simple water plane to begin with. Let's get back to camera view and let's see how it looks in render now. Here it is, now let's make water material. For this, go to render, material library and compact material library. Select an empty slot. Then click here. Now find V-Ray. Click to expand it. Now find V-Ray MTL. Double click on it. Now in basic parameters, click on diffuse. Slide up the whiteness all the way to completely black. That's our diffuse done. Now click on the reflection and slide down the whiteness around 90 to 95% white. Press OK and then go to glossiness. Put the glossiness level to 0.95 to 0.97. Now let's go to refraction. Click on the box. Again, slide down the whiteness towards around 90%. You don't have to change the glossiness here, but you have to change the IQR. If you look up the IQR of water, it shows 1.33 in Google. The IQR of water is 1.33. So we are putting 1.33 here. Now, another important thing is fog color. This will provide the color of the water. For color, select a sort of light aqua color. Don't select any deep colors. Here, now increase the depth to two. We're sort of done here, nothing to change in this area. 
Now slide down and go to maps. In maps, go to bump and here it's empty. So now go to textures folder and put the water bump map that I have provided in the slot. Change the bump percentage to 0.5 only. Again, 0.5. Don't go over 1. Always stay below 1, around 0.5 or 0.7. Here, our water material is actually done. Assign the material on the water plane. That's it. Now, let's go to render setup. Here our render resolution is 1920 into 1080p. Image sampler is bucket. Mean subdivs is 1 and max is 64. Noise threshold is 0.008 and the bucket width is 48. I have explained the subdivs, noise threshold, etc. in my previous video. If you want a good render setting, you can watch that video. And here, color mapping is rain hard and the gamma is 1.88. You can just leave the gamma to default 2.22. Irradiance map preset is medium. Light cache subdivs is 1200. The default is 1000 but I have put 1200 here. And the sample rate is 0 0.02. Nothing to change in the settings and then render elements. I have my go to render elements here. I use these render elements usually. You can put your own. So that's the render settings. Now just press render. So here I sped up the rendering. And here is the result it came out nice after post-production it looks like this so well this is how you make realistic pool water in V-Ray 3ds Max again all the textures will be given in the description link thanks for watching if you like this video please subscribe and I will see you in the next video and hopefully soon so thank you again thank you